When I talk about systems, treaty, trust land, that's all U.S. government. They are not our friends. Federal government took all the land rights away from the Navajo people. So a Navajo person can't own the land that their home's on. If you don't own the land, how do you borrow the money to build the house on the land, right? When the word Bitcoin came out, then, you know, it was, of course, the younger people said, oh, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm just like, what, <laughs> yeah, what is this? At first glance, there's little connection between the Navajo Nation, the largest Native American reservation, and Bitcoin. But a quick look at the numbers show how the current financial system hasn't played in the Navajo's favor, something Bitcoin attempts to solve for everyone. 48% of Navajo are unemployed. 40% don't have running water, 32% live off the grid, while one in three Navajo live below the poverty line. We're considered like an energy colony. We're naturally resource rich, but the people still don't really benefit from that. Other people have benefited. Huge supplies of untapped energy live under the desert rock, but the world is moving on from coal, leaving the Navajo the owners of multiple decommissioned power plants, strip mines, and cases of black lung and then there's the banking side of the story. The Navajo and the U.S. financial sector have a complicated history, perhaps best exhibited by the 2019 case between the Navajo Nation and Wells Fargo. Here, the Navajo sued and won against the banking giant for predatory practices committed against its Navajo clients. They're always trying to exploit the people out of their money. And sometimes I think like, okay, these are business opportunities, but it's also perpetuating like this poverty in our in our communities. We're a nation working with the nation of the United States, but they will not recognize that sovereign to sovereign agreement when it comes to U.S. currency, so they want complete control. In the wake of the great financial crisis of 2009, something new popped onto the scene, Bitcoin. Described as peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash and magic internet money alike, Bitcoin offered a solution to the broken banking system and excessive government money printing, many pinned as key reasons for the Great Recession. And while most people were becoming acquainted with Bitcoin in 2017, a small Canadian firm named Westblock approached the Navajo about an unconventional idea, bringing mining back onto the reservation. Bitcoin mining is like a lottery, a lottery that uses special purpose computers to mint new Bitcoin. It's a process that's energy intensive by nature, leading to near endless headlines warning against Bitcoin's energy usage. But this energy use has a purpose. What mining does is secure a new form of money, money native to the internet and without a central party like the US government. Instead of soldiers, airplanes, and foreign invasions keeping a money system secure, Bitcoin uses a decentralized and global network of miners. These miners protect the network from attacks, like a firewall, ensuring that Bitcoin's monetary rules are the same for every player. Mining makes internet money possible. Luckily, the Navajo people have an abundance what Bitcoin mining needs more than anything else, reliable energy. And not just coal power, but renewable energy. In August, West Block broke ground on yet another section of the mine. And due to Bitcoin's natural demand for reliable, cheap energy, the Bitcoin mine is incentivizing renewables to be built on Navajo country to replace coal. 59% of the mine's energy is pulled from a new solar farm just south of Monument Valley. Navajo Tribal Utility Authority President Walter Haas helped negotiate the deal to bring Bitcoin mining back onto the reservation. Navajo Generating Station power plant closed down. We also provided power to the mine, one of my largest, if not largest, consumer of electricity. So I had excess electricity that I still had to pay for and deal with, right? now. I want to build renewable energy to replace my lost coal resources that are throughout the nation. I need somebody to consume that renewable energy resource. On a social level, the mine opens up a world previously unattainable as well. Most Navajo live in small, matriarchal communes. The reluctance to leave home decreases opportunities for higher paying employment off the reservation. But Bitcoin mining may be changing this dynamic by employing Navajo energy on Navajo land. There's not a whole lot of um, employment choices here on the reservation, and this gives me a chance to provide for my children. Of course, one mine is only a step, but it's clear Bitcoin mining helps answer the energy problems the Navajo people have faced over the decades. Others are taking notice too, with more mines scheduled to come online in the coming months. 
As for financial inclusion, it remains to be seen if Bitcoin can answer the call. In reality, that depends on the Navajo people's willingness to adopt something like Bitcoin. But it's apparent the seed is taking root. If the U.S. government system is not working for us, what, what would that look like here on Navajo? What would that currency look like?